are heading from Highborn Key at the north end of the Exumas to New Providence Island. Now I would like to tell you a little story about last night. And while this morning is a nice peaceful downwind sail and everything seems to be going really good, last night was actually one of the scariest nights we've ever had aboard the boat. And I'm being very honest about that. In fact, uh, I can say it's not one of the scariest, but the scariest night we've had aboard the boat. So yeah, I'm gonna head back to the cockpit and we will tell you the story. Mm. Hello, ladies. Hello. Did you guys have a good night last night? No. Mm -mm. No? No. Yeah, so last night was super duper creepy. And what brought the entire event on was something the size of a thimble, believe it or not. A thimble. What I'm referring to is an animal called a thimble jellyfish. So, uh, a day or two ago, I guess two, day, two days ago now, there were these little kind of uh, reddish brown thimble sized jellyfish all in the water. And uh, we were all swimming with them. Uh, they were really pretty to look at. And uh, the only person who really reacted badly to them was Molly. Uh, she ended up with like these little rashes on her body, I guess the day before yesterday. And last night she started running a fever. So uh, at the advice of some friends, we gave her some ibuprofen and Benadryl. And she had a hard time swallowing the ibuprofen pill. And she got very upset and started crying and hyperventilating from that. She got to where her hands were cramping up and like she couldn't open her hands. She told me, she's like, my hands feel like uh, they're being shocked, like they're tingly. And they're like, oh my gosh, what in the world's mm -hmm. going on? And uh, her hands were like doing this and she could not open them. Like they were just clenched like this. Um, and I, even I, I was kind of just great, you know, gently trying to open her hands up and uh, and, and then over the course of like 20 minutes, that feeling was like going up into her arms and then even her face. She was getting to where like her face was getting kind of contorted and like, uh, like, like she was having a sort of a seizure may not quite be the right word, but she was just cramping up all over the place. And that was freaking her out even worse, which was making her hyperventilate even worse. And oh my gosh, it was just this really weird cycle for like half an hour, I guess. I so some friends on a buddy boat next door who happened to be, you know, in the medical field, they dropped their dinghy in the water, rushed over, and uh, just kind of, you know, asked Molly, you know, good questions and calmed her down and kind of assessed her situation and kind of, you know, were just being sure that it was, she wasn't in any kind of dire circumstances and it was just a matter of her just being super freaked out and worked up, which was causing her, her hands and her face to lock up and uh you know they calmed her down uh, we got skippy out skippy was running around on, on molly and actually that actually seemed to help a lot just having skippy out crawling around and uh then over the course of about 20 minutes she's you know her her you know blood oxygen levels or whatever started to kind of equalize and come back into a normal range and her, her hands loosened up and uh that that was i guess really the the end of it but I, the part that was really scary was when parts of her body were like no longer under her control and it was getting worse and worse. Mm -hmm. on, on a boat out here in the North Exumas where you're, you're totally out of range of uh, any, kind of, any kind of convenient medical help should you need it. Anyways, that's the story. That's what happened last night. Uh, and it all started from little tiny jellyfish stings. These little tiny jellyfish called thimble jellyfish. Some people also refer to them as sea lice. Yeah, so some people call them sea lice. Anything you want to say, Molly? No. You sure? Yeah. Did I tell the story pretty accurately? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was your reaction when your hands started to turn into claws? Breaking out. Uh-huh. And that made it all that much worse, didn't it? Mm-hmm.
But but thankfully Skippy saved the day, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, sp special thanks to our boat buddies. I'm not sure. Tammy said they don't. She's not sure if they want to be called out uh, specifically on this. But uh, thank you very much. You know who you are. Thank you for coming to our uh, assistance and helping us out so much last night. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else you want to say, ladies? Mm, just glad it's over. It was scary. Yeah. Well, we're still, but Molly's still, we're still kind of battling a fever that comes and goes. Yeah. And right. uh, that kind of thing. And it, it may take a few days to, some people say a couple weeks to, to get this kind of thing out of her system. So hopefully we're not having to deal with that. Weeks. <laughs> she, you, you seem to be doing a lot better today. Okay, that's our story. Done, ladies? Yep. yep. All right, let's go to Nassau. sure to be as silent as a mouse when any such was present. For me, at least, it was no secret about the matter, for I was, in a way, a sharer in his alarms. We have sighted land. That is New Providence up ahead. Uh, way up there, you can see three smokestacks. I think down there on the west end of the island is kind of the industrial side. Um, I don't know what the smokestacks are. Maybe that's where a power plant is or something like that. But we are just about there. How's today been for you, Tampi? Yeah, it's been a very good sailing day, actually. One, one of our best this trip, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yep, the shallow bank sailing. The water's only like, I don't know, 12 to 20 feet deep, something like that. It really cuts down on how much swell you can have. So, pretty smooth sailing out here. Yeah, it's been nice. I took a boat 
Devonian this morning and I haven't felt seasick at all. Oh, I didn't know you took that. I did. Oh, did, did you take it because you were feeling sick? No. No, just preventatively? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. I feel great. That right there is one of my new favorite things. We've rigged up a hammock inside the cockpit there. Oh, Molly is inside the hammock. Hello, Molly. How you feeling, Molly? Not so good. No? On a scale of 1 to 10, what's your number? Six. Six? Oh, that's not too bad. What was your number last night? Oh, I, I understand. Your scale is backwards from what I thought. Okay. I... <laughs> okay. So anyways, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being bad, Molly says that last night was a 10. Last night was a 10. In that case, Molly, you freaked Daddy, Daddy out really bad. Oh my gosh, you freaked me out so bad I can't talk. You really freaked Daddy out bad last night. Yeah, I know. That was not a good night. <sighs> here we are, folks. This is Clifton Bay, or West Bay, here at New Providence. We actually got here yesterday. We've just been sitting tight. Uh, Molly still has a fever, so we're trying to just be really patient about that and not, uh, you know, not, not push her too much because we still don't know exactly what it is. Uh, we're still leaning towards it possibly being something called a delayed reaction from the uh, jellyfish stings, uh, but we just don't know. Either way, you know, just taking it easy while she has a fever has got to be the best move. So that's what we're doing. Uh, Tamby, however, is about to get together with uh, Corey and Becky and Jim and Cherie. Over there on uh, the boats behind us, there's Jim and Cherie. And uh, there's Corey and Becky, actually right there on either side of my noggin. Uh, and they are going to go check out this thing called the Atlas Statue, which I believe is actually the world's largest underwater statue. I think I'm right about that. Maybe? Yeah, so that should be pretty cool. And uh, me and Molly are just going to sit tight here on the boat and continue to take it easy. Uh, I have the water maker running right now, so we're stocking back up on water. And uh, we are preparing for another passage tomorrow back to the Berry Islands. That's about a 40-mile run, I believe. Yeah. So the next thing you should see is some very interesting footage of Tamby going on a little adventure this afternoon. So that's coming up next. So, while Tamby was away, Molly was feeling a bit better, and she got the great idea to decorate me. Can you see that? See her? What do you think? Yeah. Is that showing up at all? Ah! You got it on my face. Oh, whoops. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Molly. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye bye, New Providence. Bye bye, Clifton Bay. There's the those three industrial towers back there. The only thing we went to shore for was to throw away some garbage. Uh, I went to shore. Oh yeah, that's right. But... Tamby went on a little adventure yesterday and did some stuff. Checked out the uh, statue down there. Me and Molly hung out on the boat and uh, dyed each other's hair. <laughs> Molly's fever is gone. So that's great news. However, she does have a sore throat right now that's really bugging her. Yeah, but today we're making our way to the Berry Islands. We're currently leaving a uh, channel sailing right through. You got reef and rock and island on that side and sort of a shallow rocky bit over here. But uh, Skipper Tamby is doing an excellent job of navigating us through the treacherous waters. Yes. Thank you. 
Anything you'd like to say, Molly? About how about something about how the last couple days have been for you? Not fun. Yeah? You feel like you're getting over it now though? Even yeah. though your throat's not feeling good? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm glad. Yeah. Hang in there, Swabby. Okay. Well, you guys look comfortable. <laughs> you ready for our thank you section? Yep. Okay, ladies, let's do it. Alright. I hope these uh I hope these real-time thank you sections are not too disruptive since we're actually in the Bahamas in the video. However, the videos are quickly catching up with real time. So uh, yeah, we've got some things that we want to thank people for. And all this is about our Amazon wish list. So uh, we have an Amazon wish list and there are things on it like paint rollers and uh, 4200 caulking and epoxy and such as that, things that we need for boat projects. And uh, if you feel like helping us out in some way, the Amazon wish list is a good way to do it. So let's get right to that. Here you go, Tammy, who is that from? This is from Jack and Kathy D. Uh-huh. Sending us paint rollers. Thank you very much, guys. And we have a pile of paint rollers, actually. There's, a, there's another pack that I have already used six of. Yeah, so I'm telling you, I'm already putting these things to use. So we got these paint rollers and another set of epoxy that I don't know who to thank for them. There wasn't a note, but thank you nonetheless for that stuff. But this stuff here, two more packs of paint rollers and two tubes of 4200. These are from Joe Johnson. Let's see, there's a note here that's actually pretty funny. Adhere all the things. <laughs> yes, 4200 is great for adhering things. And uh, the paint rollers are great for our mini painting project. So mm -hmm. thank you very much, Joe, for that. Thank you. Now, I also wanted to just say, uh, just uh, you know, general thank you for watching this video for sure. Thank you very much to our patrons who make this uh, these videos possible. And I wanted to give you four adjectives. Things have been busy, hot, expensive, and painful. <laughs> Now, now I'm going to make some sense of those adjectives. Molly, how have things been busy? It's okay, I've got it. Okay, we are working on all kinds of boat projects, even here at home. We bring things home from the big boat, and then of course we've got this project right behind us that has uh, been taking a, a good amount of time, but this is actually nearing completion. This is our new dinghy back here. There's going to be uh, a maybe a two or three video series of building this thing. That's been keeping us busy for sure. Uh, hot. Molly, how's it been hot? I don't know how to answer these. It's okay, I've got it. <laughs> so, particularly, the trips going to the boat, which is now in St. Mary's, Georgia, it has been scorching, folks. We have made uh, a handful of trips down there so far working on things. We have new chain plates installed on the boat now, which is a, a big thing. And we're shortly going to be installing new standing rigging. And oh my gosh, it is hot down there. Uh, we're going to wait until fall time and start doing some painting on the outside and other, you know, more intense outside projects. But good golly, it's been hot. Very hot. Expensive. How's it been expensive, Molly? Don't know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm picking on you. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll stop doing that. Expensive. Okay. So the chain plates were expensive, the standing rigging is expensive, and actually we'll segue into the painful adjective as well with expensive. So yeah, those chain plates were almost $2,000. We're looking at close to $5,000 for the rest of the standing rigging. Uh, so yeah, when you're sending us stuff like this off of our Amazon wish list, I'm telling you, it's, it's helping us out because this is an expensive summer. Tammy, can you, uh, do you know what I'm talking about when I say it's been painful? everything hurts <laughs> yeah i'm specifically <laughs> talking about what's going on in my mouth yeah ben uh had a tooth extracted a t three teeth well three teeth extracted yeah. a molar and his two front teeth yeah um i'm in pain this very moment yeah. i would call it a five on a scale of ten so we're having some dental work done that we've been putting off i had a, an injury to my face like 20 years ago and it's just been uh, the results of that injury there's been some work that's been needed to be done for a long time. We've been putting it off and delaying as far as possible. 
but uh, we've been going after that stuff. So I've got four new teeth in the front. I've got one that was just recently extracted in the very, very back, which is causing me all kinds of pain this very moment. So yeah, this has been a, a hot, busy, expensive. expensive, and painful summer so far. Yeah. There's been some good times too. Oh, well, certainly. I mean, and we're very much looking forward to getting all of these projects done so we can get back out there. Right, Molly? Yes. Is there anything you want to say? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put you on the spot <laughs> like that. I just, you, you know how weird Daddy is. Anything you want to say to everybody? No. Are you looking forward to getting back out there? Yeah. Do you miss that clear water, being on the boat, sailing, adventuring, having a good time with your family? Yes. Okay, all right. Yeah, anything else you want to say to wrap up this video, ladies? That's pretty much it. As always, thank you for watching the videos and your continued support and everything that you guys do for us. Keep sharing the videos and commenting and yeah, thank you. Yep, thank you very much for watching. Yep. See you next time. All right. <laughs> See you next time, folks. <laughs>